Jesus freak here. Now, this doesn't really make any logical sense. But I think I know what uh, what's going on here. I did a little research, and it turns out that the reason my webcam wasn't able to do full resolution at full frame rate in Linux was because it was set to RAW mode, and I needed to set it to MJPEG. Because there's just not enough the speed on the cable to send 30 uncompressed frames of 1080p footage from the camera to the computer every second. But if I set it to use JPEG compression for the frames, it works. Now, I tried to figure out how I might do that in the video capture program I use, which is called OBS. I think it's Open Broadcast System or something like that. So, there's no option to set MJPEG, but there's the default, which I think was YUIV or something like that. And then there was um, something like YUY2 emulated, and uh, I think there was YU2 emulated and YV2 emulated, or something like that. So, oh, it was YV12 and YU12. And I set YV12 emulated. Now, that's a bit tacky explanation. Now, what I'm guessing that does is it uses the MJPEG mode and then decompresses it on the computer and then converts it to YV12. I'm just guessing. It's a shot in the dark. But if it works, I can get back to, you know, having the videos be as sharp as they used to be instead of having to fake everything. Because 1080p is a lot higher resolution than 448. Linux is one of those things, you know, it might not be as easy to get started with. Once you figure things out, it's a lot more powerful. And, you know, you can do a lot more with it. And, I mean, the operating environment I use is called MATE, M-A-T-E. It's not exactly new, and it hasn't really changed all that much since I first started using it back when it was called, you know, GNOME 2. And... When was that? 2006, I think. Still looks about the same. Still works about the same. It hasn't changed as much as Windows has. I'm 40 years old. I don't like change. Being autistic doesn't help either. <laughs> but... I got used to Windows 10, and I got spoiled by some of the features, but it's not that big a deal. I get what I want. So I, I have to customize the start menu. I don't have, have it set up with a bunch of automatically, be, you know, buttons on the taskbar, although I think I could actually do that if I wanted. I have a wallpaper that changes every few minutes between a few specific ones, and I know Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 are capable of doing this too. 
I've had this wallpaper on Linux for a few years. It It's kind of like traveling through space. It's like a, a shot of the Earth. Then there's a shot of the Earth from further away. There's a shot of, I think, Saturn. I think it was meant for a screensaver, but it lets me load it in as a wallpaper instead. <laughs> I mainly just did this video after I was tinkering around with the settings after I did a couple takes on my um, reading for or next week. I just did the first bit at the beginning. Might record a third take now that I figured out how to get 1080 out of the camera at 30 frames per second, because before I could only get 5. It's nice when you figure out how to do something with your hardware, with your equipment, that you you couldn't do before. I thought it was a driver problem. I thought that the computer, I thought Linux just couldn't handle the camera as well as Windows could. It was a configuration problem. And I'm glad to have figured that out. And maybe, you know, it might be of use to anyone watching if they decide to use Linux with the Logitech webcam. Jesus freak out. <laughs>